welcome everybody to MK projects I'll be showing you how you can make a DIY 12 volt power supply which can deliver up to 20 amperes comfortably which you can use to power your stuff like a drill or any other gadgets you may wish to so the final module look, looks like this and you can see the voltage at 12.3 volts is, is stable with the current output of about 8.6 amperes so without further ado let's have a look at the schematics here's the circuit it is a half bridge power supply based on the IR2153 IC the operation frequency is about 47 kHz so it has no voltage regulation but with the, with the proper primary secondary winding ratio you can obtain the descent voltage output and the current does not load down the voltage that much so at the input you have an inrush current limiting lamister you also have a fuse then you have a bridge rectifier so the AC is spawned from the mains line to prevent a high voltage it operates at around 15 volts so with the resistant capacitor shown here the frequency is about 47 kilohertz so these are the half bridge capacitors ensure that they have a rating of at least 400 volts and one microfarad so these are the bleeder resistors so for the MOSFETs use 20N60 power MOSFETs they can handle 600 amperes and 20 amp 600 volts at 20 amperes comfortably so they should work well without any problems so this is the pass capacitor it, sh it should be non-polarized and have a voltage rating of about 400 volts or more if you find another one so the transformer I use a ferrite cone transformer and ensure it has a sufficient cross-sectional area with the widening dimensions are shown here For the primary you can use a 0.6 millimeter wire enamel copper wire wind 40 tons and for the second ray wind 4 tons on each side it has a center tap for easy rectification using just 2 downs in a single package so these are the output capacitors they are written at 680 microfarads each and 95 volts so this will give you a DC output of 12 volts with the windings shown here so since there is no feedback so there is no voltage regulation but voltage is very stable with the given tense ratio so the way this works is current to the MOSFET will be turning on and off in alternating fashions and therefore cause current to alternate in the primary winding and this will cause voltage to be induced in the secondary winding where it is rectified to DC voltage which you can use to power your gadgets gadgets.